guys, I'm Simon. And I'm Chloe. And we are the Weezy Mana. Welcome to our love story. God. <laughs> he said you bring this out. <laughs> Back to business now. Hi guys, I'm Simon. And I'm Chloe. And we are the Weezy Manas. Welcome to our love story. Story. Mm. We we actually met at a house party in Bugolobi. I'd come on holiday, I think it was during December time, and a few friends of mine invited me down to Bugolobi for a drink up. And as as we were there like boys and you know, a few friends in the town having drinks. They walked in Asha, and Asha, what I remember that time, I think you you walked straight to your friends, yeah. and you sat down with them, and I kept looking at you, but you weren't looking at me. Then somehow you looked at me, and I looked at you. The eye contact was there. The eye contact was there, and what I remember, I think I wanted to get up and come to you, but, you know, the drink kept me busy. And if you can correct me, what I think, did I, I must have sent someone to you. Yeah, the waitress. The waitress to come and say, you know, someone, I, I don't, what, what did the waitress tell you? Someone there in a white shirt, some guy there in a white shirt, wants what, to talk to you. He has to told you, told me to, to calm down yeah. and we talk and what did you what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say if you could remember very well? Let him come down. <laughs> Let him come down. And I remember the, the waitress came back to me and said to me that if she the lady has said that if, if you wanna speak to her, you need to go down rather than sending me to call her to, you know, to come straight to you. And what I did, I tried to ignore you because I was like, oh, this must be someone who's not so easy. So we kept on drinking, the party went on up and up, but we kept on looking at each other. Yeah. And, you know, we the evening when until we left. I remember when we left, we didn't say bye-bye to each other. Or yeah, but we had uh, shared a contact. No, we didn't share the contact that mm. night, I remember. Because I didn't come yeah, to yeah, yeah. speak to you. And I think, to me, the night had gone bad and, you know, kept on concentrating on other things. Then after, I think, was it after two weeks... Yeah, yeah, after two weeks. After two weeks, we we uh, went to the club with my sister, my big sister, Barbara, with our friends in Club Governor. So we were there for like, probably like two hours. And again, I saw Asha walking with her friends. And this time I said to myself that Come what may, I'm just gonna go and sell to this lady and you know, see what she has to tell me. So, I, I, I think I left you with your friends to have a few drinks, and after some time, I waved at you, yeah. and I think you could remember me very well. You, you waved, waved at me when I was entering. I waved at you when you were entering, and you waved back. <laughs> so, that, that gave, gave me positive news that definitely. Um, I'm, I'm gonna come to you. So after some time, I came to you. You were standing with your friends, I remember. I think there were two girls and yeah. one gentleman and I said, hello, hello. My, I introduced myself to you and the challenge I got that evening was like, when I came, you know, I wanted to offer you a drink and you were like, no, I'm gonna buy you a drink. And one thing I remember when I told you I'm Simon, you say to me, I know you're Simon. And I'm like, oh, how, how do you know I'm, I'm called Simon? You're like, I know your sisters. 
So, you know, we took it from there. Yeah. We started talking, we had a few drinks, the evening ended, we exchanged numbers, and you know, we started talking. This was last year, around January. Yeah. We wanted to take a break, and we decided to go to Zanzibar. Mm -hmm. So we de we decided to shop around for the hopefully for the outfits for the outfits tickets. Yeah. We looked online for accommodation which we could afford, and. Since we had decided to go away, this is a new environment, I, uh, I say to myself that, you know what, Zanzibar is well known for, you know, honeymoon, engagement. Holiday breaks. Yeah. Holiday breaks and all that. It would be so nice for me to engage Chloe down there. So I decided to order for a ring secretly and it was delivered at my sister's house. I received it. And we boarded, we went to Entebbe Airport down to Zanzibar. And I think what you knew that we were just going for a break. Yeah. A two weeks break. A two weeks break. So yeah. we get to Zanzibar. We go to Lemasin. Yeah, we checked in Lemasin. Checked in Lemasin. Stayed there for three nights. And on, and on the fourth night, I spoke to the staff behind you, say to them, this is what I want to do. We looked on Instagram for the photographers around yeah, yeah. Zanz around Zanzibar. Dongwe, because we were in Dongwe, mm -hmm. Zanzibar. And we got one who charged us some money. So while I, while I was preparing with the hotel staff, little did we know that the photograph the photographer wasn't he, he didn't show up because yeah that didn't it didn't he said he had a, a wedding something like that but he had promised that he was going to come so we delayed we delayed a bit thinking that he was on his way coming so we made several calls and there was no answer and i i, I spoke to the i think it was the manager duty manager the beach and I said to him I think you're gonna bring the boys to see and you know you're gonna bring our favorite bottle then they came in the line I think there were like six of them you know doing those drums and then I went on my knee and put the ring on you and I asked you will you marry me and, and it was yes mom. it was yes <laughs> What I love about Simon and what I still love more about Simon, uh, Simon is a loving man. Simon is love himself when you look at him, isn't it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> his love, Simon loves people, not only me, but he loves his family, he loves people, he loves my people. Yeah, and I'm so grateful that you love my people and you love me as well and our children. Chloe is a special person that makes you feel that you're special. It's like you're the only person in the world. She, she, she's that person that will praise you whenever you're weak, she tries to make you strong. She's like, you know, it's not, for example, you can be not feeling well, and she will tell you, no, you're just joking, you will feel better. Within a short time, you feel better. She's, she's a person who jokes around. She gives you that, that camp and that, you know, you, you, you can't find it somewhere else. And on top of that, she's a very intelligent person. When I met Chloe, a lot of things changed. I used to, I don't know, I used to take life for granted, but ever since I, I met you, I've learned to be serious in life. I've learned to take everything to be serious. You're, you're a God-fearing person. You've made me learn more about God. You, you've shown me that with, with, without God, you, you can't succeed in anything. 
Chloe is loving as well, very, very loving. Very, with that, I don't know how I can demonstrate it, but she's a person who will give you gifts all the time. And I think you can run broke if you're to return back. She's so kind. She has this kind that, whereby if you're not feeling well, or if you have a, for instance, if there's a time when we had challenges and Chloe would, would want to cry for me just because, you know, life was becoming a bit difficult. So she's, she's that person who, who gives you that vibe when you're weak. She's that person who wakes you up. She's that person who pushes you. She's that person who supports you. She's that person who oh. wants to develop you. You're the chef. Oh, you're the chef. <laughs> And she's a very good cook as well. Chloe cooks good food. You, we used to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I had to stop. I'm like, you know what? If, if we eat breakfast, we can hang on until supper time. There's no need of eating three times a day. She's a person once she's in the kitchen there, just expect good food on the table. And you know, well organized. And I'm so glad that I met you. I'm so glad that I have married you and you know I can't wait for us to build a future together. Um our first dance song was I Choose You by Rian Darling, but unfortunately we didn't have a first dance song. Reason being time and everyone was excited, the vibe was too high, so the groom was so excited meeting his friends, um, his we, family, and you know, we just went straight for the after party. Yeah, no, we just went to the crowd because right. everyone was in the middle. Yeah. They wanted to dance. Yeah. Afrigo was still playing, or Juliana. I think the DJ, the DJ, yeah, the selector, selector J was, was playing. playing, and the vibe was really high. I don't know, the people was there was like, maybe high or something they had that vibe and they couldn't wait for us to just cross over for the white party for yeah the, for the after party so we decided to go for the after party yeah, yeah. the fondest moment uh, of our wedding day me walking down the aisle walking down the aisle with my daddy and um, seeing the groom straight at the altar and seeing the people, everyone waiting for me, everyone smiling, everyone, you know. To be honest with you, it's seeing your old friends and family coming together, joining hands to make sure you have a lovely wedding. They were up and down, trying to call us, is everything okay before the date? Yeah, our committee as well. Our committee as well. Generally to see friends giving love to you mm. and support in so many ways to make sure that you know you get the best of it. Yeah, the committee, mostly the committee. Your committee as well? Our London committee did a lot, a lot. Seeing all, all your friends like travel from all over the world just to come for that one day as well, it, it, it made a big difference. It's something I'll never ever forget. What we would have done differently, I think it's the wedding, the, the, um, the dance. Our wedding dance? Our dance first song, love. yeah, first love song. The fact that we missed that. Yeah. yeah. Everything went on well according to the plan. Apart from that, if we had time to redo it again, yeah, I think we would squeeze song, time dance. for the first, first dance. dance. <laughs> <laughs> marriage. To me, marriage. Marriage is friendship. Marriage is a bond. And no one can understand marriage unless the two, the two of us now, Simon and Chloe, 
we can understand what marriage is. Listen. Yeah, it makes a slight difference from being a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Yeah. In marriage, you're mature enough to understand. Of course, you like you, you do things, but you'll be sensible enough to sort it out on table, talk about it, and you know. It has to involve God. Yeah. It has to involve God first. And, you know, you solve things where you have to solve them. You you have this respect that we are married and, you know, you, you're not boyfriend and girlfriend anymore, but you're that, you're, you're permanent friend. Your husband and wife. Yeah, so mm. you, you do, you, you, you do what you're supposed to do. Mm. You do the meaningful of it. Marriage is interesting. Indeed. Indeed. And I'm so glad that I joined that institution. And I'm so glad you're my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Until death, do us well. From the first day, actually, me, how I knew the Makulas, it's me, actually, who chose the Makulas, right? You did, indeed. Yeah. yeah. I went on Instagram I, and uh, YouTube. I looked at your content. Your content was perfect. The way you edit, I love the, the, the songs you put in the background. Then on these, you know, the songs of every day, there is a way you, you connect the videos and you add in the relics of the songs. I just loved everything. I think the person I chatted with, that's, that was the first thing I first commented about. Yeah, then they gave me a go ahead. Uh, they sent me the uh, bronchure, yeah. Yeah, and I loved everything about you. I loved um, Rosanna. Rosanna was the first person I met. Um, I've never met her. I'd never met Jeff. We met Jeff at the photo shoot, but Jeff was also amazing. Akram, disturbs, but very good job. <laughs> very, very hundred percent. percent Akram. <laughs> You're outstanding. Yeah. I would say that. Even they don't want to smile, you smile. <laughs> <laughs> you make everyone move. <laughs> <laughs> at least for us to get a better shoot, Akram will disturb you and he will tell you at least one last shot. My my gown, all my dresses from the Kasiki, from... Uh, as Kasiki after party, my gown, my changing, Shamtaira. Big up Shamtaira. She gave me a very, very nice treat. Sham, Sham is really a hundred percent, no doubt. Shamtaira. Uh, the car guy. Uh, Harold, Harold Cars. He did. He he gave us a very good treatment as well. The cars he were perfect. delivered on time. Yeah, the on cars time. were clean. Yeah. The drivers were very good. Yeah, actually the service, perfect. Um, our, uh, the cocktail, simply cocktails. It was good. Very perfect. Um, what else? Selector J. The DJ Selector, perfect. Selector J, perfect. Um, we want to appreciate our Frigo Band yeah, and Juliana Kanyomozi. You excited everyone once you came in. The entertainment was very, very good right from the start to the end. Yeah. The traditional dancers. In Gen Z Troop. In Gen Z Troop was also very nice. Very mm. nice. Not forgetting the man, the, the, what, Mistil Hotel. Yeah, Mistil Hotel, the food, everything. Uh, unfortunately, us, the Vagole, you know, you don't get time to really, really test the food. But the, our people told us the food was very, very nice. Mm. We, on top of that, we have to thank as well Nyeko and team. Nyeko did a very wonderful job. Mm. They are, they are, I think, for uh, security. Yeah, and service. So I think like ushering, ushering. Yeah, ushering. Yeah, but they're outside, not in, in me still. Mm. Yeah. And my young mm. brother as well, Rodman as well. Thank you for, you know, making everyone feel at home. You deliver the drinks on tables and everyone keeps appreciating you. And um, our decorator as well. Yeah, she did an amazing job. Photogenics, perfect. 
the after party DJs as well. Yeah, my makeup artist, Faye Presh, perfect. Badger Sean, perfect. They were all on time. Perfect. Everyone, perfect, 100%. Yeah, we really had a very nice wedding. Mm, they I made the day very costume. nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, but about Makula, a hundred percent. The content, the lighting, the the way you edit. I got to know Jeff, Ian, and Akram. Akram, yeah. Rosanna. Thank, thank you so much for keeping time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for all those shots. Yeah. And we'll tell our other people, our friends about you as well, who donate. We would love to Makula ask everyone to subscribe to Makula Pictures, or you can go to www.makulapictures.com and you see the content there. Yeah, and they have pages, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, yeah. But Instagram, I got them on Instagram. Yeah, Makula Pictures, you will be they sorted. They are the talk of yeah. town. Very nice. Boom.